sir. You're welcome to Temple Court, House of Prayer for All Nations, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. May we know your name? My name is Akwelevanji. I come from Northwest, I'm wrestling in Douala. Thank you very much. The lady beside you is my wife. In a special service of today, by the grace of God, the anointed man of God, Prophet Richard, gave you a prophecy. For prophecies are the deep things of God. And we would like to know, sir, what the man of God, Prophet Richard, told you. Prophet Richard prophesied to me that uh, I love God and that uh, also there are so many problems that when I want to give my life to God, there are some people behind me that uh, they are dragging me not to give my life to God. Uh, Prophet Richard prophesied to me again was about uh, the problem of my wife, uh, that I should handle my wife very well. Because there are so many things that I will gain more from my wife. Um, she also told me about the problems of uh, my, uh, my family. And uh, I really know that it, what the prof the prof Richard prophesied to me was really true. Uh, this uncle, how are you? Yes, where's your partner? I want to call her to stand before you, beside you. Mm -hmm. Auntie, how are you? You know why I call you, sir? No. I call you because it is like you are in the dream world. You love God, but something keeps dragging you away. Can you forgive your past yes. and forget? Yeah. Because your background is sealed. When you want to come out, you see yourself going back. You want to come out, you see yourself coming, coming back to that. That's true, man. You love God. You want to follow God. But now, the character of the people around you is not way out. And that has linked to your family. Please, sir. I'm talking today because this message talks all about you. you. If I ask about your partner, it's because I want to say, take this woman like a God to your life. Thank you. She's your wife. Thank you. And if you handle her according to God's plan... I want to tell you, you will write a history in the whole of your family. Thank you. And how can you confirm this prophecy to be true in your life, sir? Uh, the prophecy that the prophet prophesied to me was true because I've been going through so many problems because of uh, the problem of uh, God. So many times when I was with my wife, she always advised me to come to the church, and when I say, ah, I don't need those kinds of things, I can't go there. Uh, all the times, one day, I, we had a problem in the house because of the problem of God. But after, when we quarry after that, I would say, what am I going? When my wife decided to go and leave me home, after I would start thinking, why am I doing like this? I know the only person that I need to respect is God. Why am I talking to my wife in this kind of manner? So... Just brings me a lot of problem in my house, my home. So I decide today to say I have to come to church because I need to give my life to God. Hallelujah. And uh, we believe that your wife equally will have something to say. The prophecy that you received today. Madam, please may we know your name and where you come from. My name is Andy Seglana. I'm coming from Northwest region. I reside here in Douala. Thank you very much. What can you say concerning, concerning the prophecy that man received today? I can say that the prophecy is true because so many things have been happening in, in my house. When I want to explain our, like things, telling him all the message that I've been receiving here in this church, when I want to explain, he don't want. He don't want to like to, to show me that no I'm I'm big enough. I'm big enough to be hearing all those things. So I thank you and I thank God for the what he has done in the life of my husband today. Because I, I believe that this prophecy will change his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, 
the anointed man of God, Prophet Richard, said that something is dragging your husband behind. And we believe that as his wife, you may know what is dragging your husband behind. Can you please share with, it, with us? I can say what is dragging my husband behind is because of friends. She liked to, he liked to have friends that would discourage him. He liked to have friends that would discourage him, that would be telling him, how can you allow your wife to be going to that church? You, me, huh? I cannot allow my wife to go to that church, oh, because hmm, those churches there, that, hmm, I don't even know. And then when he come back, we say that, I stopped talking about those things, church, call church, church every day. That's how he will be telling me that she don't want to be coming, that she just allow him. That's, I believe that because it's because of the friends that have been dragging him back. Meaning that these are some of the things that has been discouraging your husband, I mean dragging him behind, is that so? Yes. And now that the Lord Almighty stepped into your home, I mean, into your family, and he spoke to your husband, what do you believe that the Lord Almighty has done in your life? What God has done in my life, I don't know, what I can, I don't know how I can explain it. Because he has already done it all. These are the things that I've been praying for long. But today, God decided to answer my prayer today. So I am very happy. I'm very, very happy for the, for the servant that God sent, Prophet Richard, to come and be saved the life free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm very happy for what you have done in my life today. Not only in my life, but in the, my family. Glory be to God in the highest. We thank God for what he has done in your life today, as you earlier said. One more question, sir. You know, when the man of God, Prophet Richard, spoke to you, at the end of the prophecy, he said that the message that he is talking to the people of God today concerns you. And what do you be, or what impact has the message on in your life? Mm, the message of today, oh, the, real, the message really touched my heart because what the man of God was saying today about the character, I think I've gone so, through so many things. Most of my problems I've been facing comes from my character. Because there are so many things that when I discover that what I'm doing is not good, and when I realized that what I was doing was not good, and when I try to come back to my senses, at the same time, the character I'm using makes me not to realize what I was doing. So the message of today was so very, very important, very good. Uh, what I have to say is that I will also take the message to my friends and those that they are trying to be dragging me back. I will let them to know that God is so wonderful. And they must all join me also. Don't run to your enemy. Try to make your enemy to understand whom you are. The God that you are saving. Glory be to God in the highest. Meaning that you've realized today that you need to develop or to take in a new, new character in your life. I mean to, mean to say a positive one so that the consequences also will be a positive one. Is that so, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm really happy. I don't really know. The joy that is in me, I'm so, so wonderful. I'm really happy. Oh, thank God for what he has done in your life again once more. Thank you for confirming your prophecy with us. And our prayer is that you make the word of God an integral part of your life so that the healing, deliverance, breakthrough that you've received through the word of prophecy today will remain permanent in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome you to Temple Courts of Prayer for all nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May we know your name and where you come from. My name is uh, Mr. Elangwe Leonard Mutabo. I come from the southwest region, but resident here in Douala. During the service today, the anointed man of God reached up to you and gave you a word of prophecy. Can you share that prophecy with us? 
Yeah, the man of God, Prophet Richard, walked to me this afternoon and prophesied to me that I should not go without seeing because he sees problem around in my anchorage, meaning around my house, that there is a problem in my house. Uh, this uncle, I want to see you. After the service, please, I want to see you. Okay? When you see me, you recall. We need to talk. Concerns the first changes that are going on at home. So that you need, there's a way to handle it again. Yes, I, want, you, I need to give you another, a guide to handle it. Yes. Take it easy. It will be well. And what can you say about this prophecy? Is it true? Yes, prophecy is very true. Because right now, I'm into a serious problem with my wife in the house. Now, how, what is your impression? How have you felt when the anointed man of God, Prophet Richard, has really just come and touched that problem that has been disturbing your life? God has used him to touch that problem. How do you feel? I feel very happy this afternoon because God has used him to solve. God has used him to see into what is going into my entourage. And I believe God is ready to solve the problem since he brought up the problem. So you believe that this problem is going to bring breakthrough in your family? Yes, I believe so. Now, now that God has decided to use the anointed man of God, Prophet Richard, to shed this light in your family, what is your belief? What are you going to do? What do you tell him? Well, I want to thank him and I really believe that he's really a man of God. I'm saying, what do you tell God who has used, who has solved your problem, who has used his servant to shed his light in your family? I want to thank God for using him because if God can raise up the problem that is going on in my family, it means he's really ready to solve the problem. You listened to the message this morning from the anointed man of God, Prophet Richard, and uh, I believe you learned something from it. What is your impression about that message of today? My impression about the message of today, character, is that since it's not today that he started the message, he started the message on Thursday, and I believe since that Thursday he has been preaching on this same message, it has, yeah, the message has touched me and is working a lot in my life. What really have you got from this message that has touched your life that others can share? The message has tried to bring, to make me know who I, really, who I am. And it's bringing those, helping me to drive away those characters in me that were not in me. And I'm, it's also helping me to fight those characters in me. After watching God using the anointed man of God today to give that powerful message and to prophesy to people, what is your impression about him? He is a real man of God. Not because he prophesies, but because of his messages too. His messages are very impressed and they help to change us. Today, you've received, you've worshipped here, you've seen all the wonders that God has done to people in this ministry. As we are going back, what message, what advice can you give to those who are watching you who have never had the opportunity of coming here? The advice I have for them is that since if they are not opportune to come here, let them continue to watch God is Able TV. And from there they will continue to get the good messages that are coming from there. We thank God for your life. We thank God for this wonderful prophecy that has brought transformation in your family. We pray that as you go back home, you continue to watch, to serve Jesus, be faithful to him, so that every blessing that accompanies this prophecy will be established in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
I want to say, Auntie, forgive your past. You know, when you, as you continue to be thinking about the past, the devil is taking dominion over that. You are never yourself. You are not happy. You don't think to control yourself because the past is the one controlling you now. It is bad, but keep it aside. Thank you, sir. You need to go to the hospital. Okay? Yes. There is something that will give you some tablets that will treat you. When they will treat you with this tablet, you will be free. You have a physical problem. Thank you, sir. This one is not spiritual now. But your spiritual problem is forget the past. Ignore the past. You made a mistake, it happened. Ignore that past. Thank God you. has given you another chance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sir, you're welcome to Temple Court, House of Prayer for All Nations, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Please, may we know your name and where you come from. My name is called Linda Godlov. I'm living here in Kuwait. I'm Mr. Westina. Thank you very much. In today's service, Sunday service, the man of God, Prophet Richard, gave you some words of prophecies. Can you please confirm the prophecy with us before confirming the prophecy? Tell us what was the prophecy. Yes, Prophet Richard gave me a prophecy. He said he sees me narrow escape. I mix accident. Yes, I want to talk to you, sir. You narrowly escaped an accident. You know why I talk like this? I want to say, be prayerful. Your prayer should be on the point of accident. And that was a strange land for you. And it's true. And how can you confirm this prophecy to be true? Yes. Uh, I travel to Nigeria to go and buy. And we take, we take water. So when we were going, we reached in a certain place. Our boat got stopped. So we struggled until some people came and gave us uh, petrol and we start and we started the thing start and we start we, we go we go and st stop again in another place again so that's how we just suffer in the water and people were saying that where our boat was stopping like that it is a very bad place because there there are many thieves sometimes boat will stop there and thief will come and hold people there so it is really true the prophecy is true and when the man of God, Prophet Richard, spoke to you, how did you take this prophecy? No, I know what he said is really true. Because this is not how to take the prophecy, but what he said is real. Yes. And he told me that I should also pray for, for accident. Yes. I want to talk to you, sir. You narrowly escaped an accident. You know why I talk like this? I want to say, be prayerful. Your prayer should be on the point of accident. And that was a strange land for you. All that is true. That I will be praying for accident. So that accident will not... There is, uh, there is a dream that I dream when I, when, I, when I came back. I dream that uh, I saw one of my uncle lying on the mat, seriously sick. So when I saw him, he was sick. People were there. I said, ah, what is really wrong with this, my uncle? Eh? And the uncle is a Katakis in Catholic Church. So I was saying, ah, what is wrong with this uncle? Why, why will he be sick like this? So I go nearer there. I stand. When I stand, I was meditating, I saw, and I saw him get up. So I think all those things is what the man of God, the God is showing, God shows uh, Seven, Prophet Richard. So our word of encouragement or advice is to be prayerful as the anointed man of God, Prophet Richard said. And we also want to advise you, to encourage you to make the word of God an integral part of his word so that the Lord Almighty will continue to be your protector, your guidance everywhere you find yourself in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.